Tumisa Mudimu. Wow. Uh, Tumisa Mudimu is um, it's one of my favorite songs. Uh, it was produced by uh, Nikki Diamonds. <laughs> Shout out Nikki Diamonds. <laughs> um, it was produced by Nikki Diamonds. And the funny thing, here's how it got called Tumisa Mudimu. When I got the beat from, from Nikki, uh, he said to me, uh, he had a few beats, you know, and he wanted me to rap on them. And he had heard some songs that I had done back when we were part of the Ish fam. So uh, I got the beats, and one of the beats was called Tumisan. And that happens to be his first name. <laughs> so I didn't change the name of the, the, the song. I just left it as to me sang. Um, so when I started writing, I was like, I, I just played the beat and it was just hitting me hard. And I was like, wow, what am I going to talk about? And, you know, over time, I just started, I had this rap, which is the first verse of the song. And it speaks about, you know, it presents a story of uh, a pastor, uh, a pastor who is cheating on his wife. And as he's cheating on his wife, he gets to the place where his conscience creeps in and he's like, look, you need to stop this. And as he's getting to the point of turning away from that, it all blows up in his face. And, you know, his wife finds out and the church finds out and everything. And there's a scripture that says, in all things, uh, we must praise the Lord. Or we must give thanks. In fact, in fact, it says, give thanks in all things, uh, right? For this is the will of God through you in Christ Jesus. I think it says, I think it says that. Um, so, uh, as I was writing that, you know, the story, it just kept flowing. And, and, you know, I was using certain elements of my own personal life to kind of, you know, give the story, throw, throw inspiration or, or bring flesh into the story. Uh, give it some, some cer certain type of character or life to the story. Um, so as I wrote the song, it was just supposed to express that to show people another side of, of of the life of a believer like you know we're not we're not holier than thou we're out here just living this life and basically trying our level best to break through as well and to become better than who we were before we met the lord jesus so you know when when when, when stories like that come out and people hear that oh the man of god fell or, you know, a man of God has been caught in sin or whatever the case may be. Um, or just an ordinary Christian. It becomes something that people just, you know, feel like, oh, he thought he could do it. Who, who is he? You know what I mean? But the Bible says to us that we must give thanks in all things. Um, because we know that we're human. We're weak. Without him, we're nothing. And if we maintain that humble posture in our lives as believers, I do believe that, you know, we will attain that posture or that place of exact representation in Christ Jesus. Yeah.